All right, this is uh, part three of the room carpet problem that um, we're looking at. And um, what I like to do is to, um, you have, remember that we have this, uh, this, uh, this, this problem. And I'd like for you to take a look at this problem, how we, how you want to, uh, now, uh, we're going to have to do like a, the carpet calculator serve as kind of like you instantiate you call uh, the, 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 room, the room carpet class, which has an irrigation, which we say is, has a relationship with the room dimension class with the same. So in here, let me start out with this class right here. Again, um, you would call, uh, put in your first three header. Uh, this is where your public class uh, carpet, same name as your uh, class your file name calculator inside of this thing you probably you this is where the only thing you have is your public static public uh, <coughs> static void main string args and you have its set of curly brackets with it as well so inside of this thing, this is where I'm going to declare all the variables here. I'm going to declare some variables that actually takes place. So all the variables that's in here. First of all, if you call finals what? That's your constants, right? Day type is a double. And best practice is that we need to uppercase all constants with it. So I'm going to call this as uh, what's provided for us is $8, right? This is the price of the carpet. And the other one is called the double length. Second one is the width. Next one is, I think that's about it, right? And then we have a couple of other uh, things that we need to hold um, the room dimension, which is what? Using the data type, kind of similar format as the room dimension. Call this thing dimension so we don't confuse it and the other one I'm going to just kind of document to determine the cost so we're going to do room carpet of the room okay now come in here we need to create the scanner class because we're prompting the user for some information with this thing so create the scanner class I'm sorry object So if you're using the scanner object, how, what do you need up here? You have the scanner class. So import java.util.scanner. Okay. Inside of this thing, you have that syntax. It's the scanner. Call it keyboard is your object. And your keyboard, you get new scanner. And inside of that, you're going to do system. Now, let's display some information that we actually need to do. Display the information. So what do we do? We do just, just a simple system out dot print line. And inside of this thing, you're going to do uh, this program will display uh, price to the carpet. A room, something like this, and you can put close a quote, concatenate that. If it gets too long with this thing, uh, you must input the um, room's dimension in feet and inches. Okay, something along this line. Yeah. Okay. So. This up here a little bit. So you, you need to get get the length of the room. So how do you get the length? Well, you got to prompt the user for the length. So why don't I just grab this next top line here and I'm going to 
remove the content of it like this. I'll do print. It's a print line. I'm going to just take out just that so it doesn't move it down to the next line. I'm just going to ask him enter the length first. Like that. And I'm going to read in the length, which is story in what? Here's my length. How do I read it? Read in. I'm going to use the object keyboard. I'm going to code this from the right to the left. Next, double, because we know it's going to be a double. It's a method. And all that's going to be assigned to equal the length. Okay. Now, on the second one, you need to get is the same thing. So I'm going to just snag this thing right here. Come down here, paste it here. This time I'm going to get the width of the room, right? Of the room. So I'll enter instead of length. Now you enter the width. And this becomes the, what? The width. Right? You get the keyboard, double, the whole thing. Now you get both of them in memory right now. We need to actually create the room dimension. Right? So when you do, I mean, I, I, I want to properly call this with what that is, where it is, and the room carpet objects. So both of these things need to be assigned to this. This is your dimension, and this is going to be in your room right here. So how do we do that? Again, the syntax is very similar. Is what I'm going to do this to the right side to equal the left side. So the room dimension I want to pass across is the length, comma width, which is what? Which is this length, which is this right here. This width is this width. All of this needs to equal your dimension. Okay, which is what? This variable, which is this variable. Okay, semicolon after that. I need to actually get the new room carpet dimension as well. So I'm going to do this again. I'm going to do this from the right side. I'm going to do new room carpet. I'm going to pass in as the dimension. and the constant price that I have right here. All of that will calculate to equal to what is the room. Okay. So I want to make sure that we are on the same page here that as you can see the same. Now you realize that I created this room. This comes from what? The room carpet. If you look at my UML on the left hand side over here, it has a two string. It's going to imply to actually go to the two string. Once this is called, it's going to go directly to the two string. I don't need to actually call the two string. All right? So once this happens, I need to display this thing. So I'm gonna, how do I display this? Move this up here a little bit here. The dimension. cost. Alright, so I'm going to do what? System out dot print and I want to pass across as what? Guess what? I'm using as the room carpet. It's implied. So this becomes my object that I want to pass in here is room. Okay, that's the beauty of all this that's going on with this thing. So, so let me step back here. Let me step back here explain what we do. Uh, let me do this in the next segment really quick.